In this tutorial, we're going to look at the bounding box component. So let's go ahead and make a sphere. And I'll just give a radius of that sphere. And then let's, uh, so that makes the sphere you can see over there in Rhino. And let's give that a bounding box. So the bounding box is located under surface primitive. And essentially, it just puts a box around any geometry you plug into it. So you can see it then has a bounding box. And what's nice is that is a real geometry. So you could deconstruct that um, bounding box and actually pull out the edges and the faces from it um, using a list item or just use all the edges and faces to then construct other geometry. Um, the other thing that's nice about that is let's say we make another sphere. And actually, I'll just bring one in. I'll bring in a sphere. Maybe I'll bring in a few of them. And then bring these in as B reps. Go ahead and hide those. Is that the bounding box can actually contain multiple sets of data. So if I hold down shift or I use a merge component, you see you can put a bounding box around all of those with those one component. Now one thing you'll notice is it says per object below the component and it's, the bounding box allows you to do two things. One is to put a bounding box on each object individually or if you right click you can turn it into a union box which takes the extent of the whole group of objects and puts a bounding box around everything. So the bounding box is really useful um, to find the area of a bunch of different uh, objects together but it's also really great if you are going to apply a component to a surface and that component uh, is not a regular like box geometry but has irregularities. You can put a bounding box around that and then deploy the, the box along the surface and then it will contain that geometry. So we'll do that a little bit later. The other thing you can do with a bounding box is not only contain um, these kind of geometries. So you could also do a bounding box around curves. So let's go ahead and make a curve geometry. And that curve can be, you know, have uh, be three-dimensional. So we'll go ahead and set that curve, and it will put a box uh, around that one as well. So this works for all kinds of geometry. You could do points. Let's just try points. And then again, um, let's say we select all these. I'll just go ahead and delete this one. Select all these points. We can contain multiple points in one geometry. You can do a union box with all the points and if you move these up you see it'll update uh, in real time. Um, or you can right click and do turn off the union box and the only thing here that's important to realize is these are points so there's no dimension to them. So for points you can't do a per object you can only do a union box. Curves of course you can do um, union or um, per object.